everyone. Thank you for clicking on this video. And today I have a special treat for you because we're not doing regular cooking. We're doing baking, I think. Actually, I don't even know if this goes in the oven. I've not really read the instructions for it, but I got all the ingredients. So as you can see from the name of this, or from the title of this video, we are going to be making caramel balls. Caramel popcorn balls. Oh my goodness. There's a long name and for some reason I'm completely butchering it. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I am currently sitting on the counter. Don't, don't do what I do. Just sanitize your, your, your counters. Anyway, let me get up off this counter. So here we are on my fab fabulous kitchen counter. So let's go ahead and take out the cookbook. And we're going to click on the cookbook and why is nothing there it is. Okay. Start cooking. Select recipe. We're going to be going to desserts, which will be number one. And then we're going to be going to holidays because I didn't realize this was a holiday thing, but here we are. Caramel coated popcorn balls. That's what they're called. Not caramel balls. I am so sorry. We're going to just be doing two servings nothing fancy and then we're going to be clicking it again there's only two steps to this recipe really that's it i'm sorry i am sorry okay i clicked it and nothing happened caramel ball sauce are there other recipes that i need for this start cooking Okay, my kitchen is now in cook mode. Okay, select recipe. And we're going to go for desserts, which is number one. Then we're gonna go for holiday treats, which is number four. And then what I'm looking for is the caramel coated popcorn balls, number four again. We're only gonna be making two servings. Select dish, number one. There we go, it worked this time. So here we have all of the ingredients for the first part of this recipe. Also, really quickly, I'm going to move this popcorn over here next to the plates. It's floating midair, but that's okay. That is okay. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Can y'all see? Okay, I should be able to see now. Anyway, let's click on this bowl first. Where are they? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Got some nice marshmallows. These are also called white marshmallows. So I wonder if they have like chocolate or something like that. Or like darker or something. I don't know. Or maybe like some purple ones. Who knows? That could be a thing. I should have got the thumbnail with those marshmallows, but we're too late for that now. And also when I was at the BU main sim the today, actually, I noticed that, no, not today, yesterday when I was recording, I noticed that they had this new kitchen thing where I'm not sure if the footage made it into that video, but they have this new kitchen set and it's not a whole set. It's literally just the stove and an invisible counter. And they also have it with the dishwasher so you can add it to your own kitchen. And I'm thinking about getting it maybe if I, cause I have this dust bunny kitchen set that I really want to use, but I need to figure out how big the space is. And then I'm going to get that one but I am so glad they did that because their kid, okay, BU, it's a really fun system to use, but their furniture is just a little too big for my personal taste. So I'm really excited about this. I didn't know it was a thing. I just learned about it yesterday. So I'm really looking forward to that. However, setting up those kitchens tend to be a very tedious task. The kitchen set from Dust Bunny that I use, it has, I'm not going to say a million pieces, but it can feel like that when you're putting it together. 
And I also wanted to move the kitchen to where the living room area is. And then I want to make this room the living room area. So I'm really excited about that because now I'll actually be able to do that. So yay. All right. We are still putting all of our ingredients together. Um, good job. You've prepared all the ingredients for the sauce. Yay, us. I wish we could start on the second one, but we have to wait for this one to be done. So I will see you all after it is finished. All right, everyone, I was waiting for our popcorn balls to be done. So I'm going to go ahead and continue cooking. I just have a couple of sips left of this drink, and then we're going to get right back into it. There we go. All right, so we are done with our pina colada. I am going to... No, I'm not going to click on the drink. I'm going to get back on the counter. All right, we are back on the counter. So let me just, there we go. Select, oops, select dish, popcorn bowls. All right, there we go. Literally right where we left off. Perfect. Popcorn. This was literally just like two steps. But they look delicious. So I'm here for it. Where'd the bowl go? Is it in the oven? Oh, it's finished. So I guess you just make the sauce on the stove, but it's not actual baking. I thought about making a whole other playlist for baking, but it's all going to go on the same playlist. I already have too many, I think. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. So let me go ahead and take these out. Is this a hand food? Can I eat this with my hands or what? This feels like something that you should be able to just eat with your hands as like a snack. You know what? We're going to put it over here with the pina coladas. And technically, this is a holiday dish. I just don't know what holiday it's for technically, but... That's the section um, it's in, in the recipe book. So yeah, load uses, serve. Damn, I think I do need a plate for this. One use is left. Did I already eat it? Oh, check inventory. I don't see it. Am I tripping? Serve. Please wait. So it is supposed to be a food. There it is. Add. Okay, so... Look at that, me failing. Who's surprised? Come on, please res before so I can get this picture at least. Okay, this is taking too long, but my popcorn bowls are done. Yay, we did it. Sorry, that song just, it seems to just live in my head every single time moment presents itself to me. I don't know why. But I think this itself is going to be the thumbnail. Because obviously waiting for that thing to res is taking it too long. We did it. Sorry. we. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't like that. Let's try that again. There we go. Much better, much better. 
and that was delicious. I did a great job, 10 out of 10. I would highly recommend this chef. We're gonna save this image. It's so weird not finishing at the table and finishing in front of the island. But you know what? I think we're gonna also have another drink. And on that note, I think this is a good place to go ahead and stop the video. Thank you for clicking on this video. It's probably gonna end up being a little shorter because this it only really had like two steps. But yeah. But the vlog is going to probably come out before the... Nope, nope, nope. The cooking video will come out first because I'm pretty sure I said the next video I upload will be a cooking video and I already committed. So that to that on that. Anyway... This vlog will come out after this cooking video, although that doesn't really mean anything to all of you, probably. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and have, hit that subscribe button. It is 100% free. Thank you for hanging out with me. Click, thank you for clicking on this video. I am so, so, so grateful for every subscriber, for everyone watching the videos and liking and interacting and commenting. Thank you all so, so much. And thought about doing something special when I hit 200 subscribers, maybe doing a, some kind of giveaway with Lindens. I don't know if enough people would be interested in that, though. If you would be interested in that, comment down below. Otherwise, maybe I'll just do a thank you video. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you for clicking on this video. Bye-bye, everyone.